you are fated to die in obscurity. Oh, I'm still maidenless. No level ups, no torrent, no round table hold. And after fighting my way through Loretta and reaching Lady Ronnie, still no spirit calling bell. But I've come far without a maiden. I failed Margit, I toppled Godric and obtained a great rune. And Ronnie gives me an idea of where I can find the next one. The Academy of Raya Lucaria. A school of big heads with brains big enough to fill them. These masters of pebblemancy would prove a challenge, so I decided to pick up the legendary speedrun weapon, the Ice Rind Hatchet. No, my boy, how they've massacred you! This was the best weapon in the game before they nerfed it. And now, look at him. So slow. The damage is so little. But I still think it's the best weapon I can use at these stat requirements. Ah. <sighs> Regardless, I made my way through Raya Lucaria, picking up some new fashion along the way. There wasn't too much else for me to get while I was here. I mean, I'm not even smart enough to cast Pebble. It's no wonder I'm maidenless. Before approaching Renala, I unfortunately had to put down the family dog. I always thought it was kinda weird that the sword it summons counts as physical damage. It makes it easy to just block and guard counter. Raya Lucaria was a lot easier for me than Godric's castle, but that might be because I'm not a spellcaster. I mean, I'm just spamming Horror Frost Stomp, I'm practically on easy mode. Oh shit. Anyway, I made it to Renala. Ooh, I said no maidens. What the hell? Fuck this. Okay, well, this boss was pretty easy, actually. Ye will be countless born forever and ever. Yeah, everyone can respawn. Upon my name is Rani the Witch. Oh shit, did you follow me here? Mother's rich slumber shall not be disturbed by thee. Okay, sorry. I mean, I just need the great room and I can be right out of your hair. Okay, so I really like this boss, but she just goes down way too easily. Her summons are pretty strong, but when they only show up in Phase 2 of Phase 2, it's a little disappointing. Finally, with the Maidens off our tail, and our second Great Rune acquired, we can approach the capital city. Lanedale. So many doubted me. They said I'd never make it to the capital. I'm going to prove them wrong. All your comments. They just made me want to fight that much harder. At long last, this is it. We made it. Wait a minute. Oh shit, that's what they meant. The game actually blocks you from progressing until you accept Melina's offer. Damn this city. I suppose my journey's over. Heed my words, struggler. Who the hell are you? Those who continue not, never receive thy destined death. What? Struggle, endure, contend. But that alone defies the greater will and America alike. I didn't think it would come to this, but I'm going to have to use the forbidden technique. I had to use wrong warp. Look, I know I said no glitches, but if the game is going to block me from progressing, this is the only way forward. I won't use any exploits or AI breaks in boss fights, but the path of the maidenless 
must use a few glitches. Now that we've broken the game, let's see what kind of changes await us at the air tree. Lane Dell was one of the most difficult areas of the game for me. Not this jazz band we have here, but the Lothric Knight knockoffs are really good at catching my rolls. To be honest, I just ran through most areas. I think I was a bit underleveled for this region. And that became a lot more obvious when I had to fight our next mandatory boss, Godfrey. Getting one shot wasn't a huge issue here. The real problem was how little damage I was doing to him. All these bosses immune to frost and bleed? <sighs> I could have probably brute forced it and gotten good, but I thought now was a good time to change up my build. Alright, let's see what people are using. Can't use that, can't use that, can't use any of those, wouldn't be caught dead. Oh wait a minute, not bad. It does decent damage, it has a frost lightning buff, and it can be dual wielded with my other katana. Alright, so let's see where I can get it. Oh shit, time to kill Radon. Sorry buddy, I know the nurse hurt. Okay, but am I the only one who think he didn't need a nerf? With how powerful he is in the lore and all the summons you can use in this fight, the challenge felt earned and you can always just make it easier by resummoning. Radon is a goddamn raid boss and he's still fun to fight solo as well. Even while maidenless, this boss was a breeze after the patch. The next boss in my path is what I was really afraid of. No wait, not, not the mimic here, the one after this. Yeah, the gargoyles. These fuckers. Okay, these two took me well over an hour on my first playthrough. It's gonna take me much longer now. I got the first phase down pretty well, but getting tag team was definitely not fun. I didn't have the DPS I needed to take down the first gargoyle before the second one jumped in to help. I upgraded my hatchet to plus six and my strategy was to stagger the first gargoyle right as the second one spawned so that I can deal as much damage as possible. This worked pretty well, but I was still getting bodied. After three goddamn hours, I decided enough was enough and I upgraded my hatchet to plus nine. Remember, I can't access the round table hold in this run so I can't use bell bearings. That means somber smithing stones are a very limited resource. But it was worth it to kill these two. The twin blade was much easier than its partner. It only has one move that I really consider a threat. I could finally move on from those two goons and make my way through Noxtella until I reached the Lake of Rot. Normally, I don't mind a poison swamp or two, Miyazaki, but this is just ridiculous. I made sure to prep everything I had for this fight, because god I did not want to walk back here again. Okay, so everything in this fight one shots me, but worse than that, let's count how many times I died to Scarlet Rot. Where am I going? Okay, stun locked. Out of Estus and dead. Plus nine weapon, by the way. Not even close. All right, let's try this again. Okay, this is starting to piss me off. If I dodge, I die. If I heal, I die. Okay, 20 deaths from just Scarlet Rot. And if we multiply that number by 5, we get our total deaths. And if we then multiply that number by 3, we get the amount of minutes it took me to beat this boss. Now plug that number into our total energy expenditure equation, and we find that I burned 371 calories during this fight. Okay, but I did manage to defeat him. It took me a long time, but I had a lot of fun doing all of this side content. After upgrading my Dragon Scale Blade to plus 9, I went back to Godfrey and got my revenge. 
He still took me a few tries, but he was a walk in the park compared to the last few bosses. We made it all the way to the air tree, all without Melina. Wait, what the fuck? What are you doing here? <sighs> well, I'm not summoning her for this fight because the whole point was to not bring her to the air tree. But that's alright, I got this. I've already killed him once already. Foolish. I was trying out a few different strategies from using my shield Foolish. to using the black bow. It felt good to finally be able to use poison and frost on enemies again. Foolish. It took a while, but I managed to find my rhythm in this fight, mostly by staying at range. I also remembered that there's a way to make this fight a lot easier. I just needed to beat the shit out of Patches and get Morgoth Shackle from him. When I got back, I accidentally ran into this glitch where he doesn't fight back. So I just let him kill me so that I can fight him for real. Foolish. You can't use the shackle in phase 2, which is where I was having the most trouble, but I had a plan. I went off and got the Bloodhound Step Ash of War, and I decided to infuse my blade with frost buildup so that I can dual wield two frost weapons. Alright, here we go. I started off with poison as always, but I kept at range for the entire first half of the fight. At about 60% HP, I would use the Shackle. This gave me enough time to use my Ice Lightning and get as much damage off as I could before Phase 2. We are not the same, you and I, for I have no maiden. The beast within may fear me and revoke my right to the throne. You don't have the right, oh you don't have the right, so to speak. You don't have the right, oh you don't have the right. That's right, but I do have my own will, and I'll use it to burn away yours. No medallion for me then? I understand. But you don't. I need that medallion to continue this journey. How am I to burn the branches if I cannot reach the crucible? All along, it was not Morgoth who stood in my path, but Fromsoft themselves. I know no technique that can help me reach the fire giants. Perhaps my journey has ended. Hey, what's up, man? Still struggling, I see? What of it? Oh, <clears throat> struggler, thy maidenless path in wheels challenges insurmountable. But the struggler will continue thy journey in part three. Uh. 